Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today we are covering how you can protect your server from DDoS attacks and this is something that I highly recommend everyone gets just because it offers an additional layer of protection for your server or for your website. And most hosting providers do offer some sort of DDoS protection that will usually be totally enough for any type of attack uh, but this just gives you a, even more ability if you have like a lot of players or there's a lot of uh, different types of connections coming to your service. So let's go ahead and get this set up and working for your server. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. So before you get started, a few things to be aware of is that you need to have a domain already made. So that can be a paid domain or it can be a free domain. Either one does work. I'm going to be using a .tk domain for my video. So once you have that, come to the website link down in the description, tcpshell.com, and you can check out all the really cool stuff and their about section and check out some of the largest servers that they have supported. Uh, so we got Invaded Lands by Skeppy, Pebble Host, Mr. Beast Gaming, and Linus Tech Tips. And there's a lot more in here. So really cool stuff that these guys are supporting TCP Shield as well. So once you are here, you want to go uh, to your client area. Basically, you want to make an account uh, and then you can sign in with that. So I already have my account. This is my dashboard. So getting started, what you want to do is go to add your network. And I'm just going to call this uh, Soul Node Craft, all right? We can add our network there. And this name can be pretty much whatever you want to do. Once you have that, you want to come down to your network tab and you want to go to backends. So this is where you're going to be adding the IP of the servers. This does work with both bungee cord as well as, you know, paper spigot servers. Uh, so where you want to add a set right here. So once you add the set, you need to make the name. So I'm just going to call this uh, survival. All right. So I need to get the IP of the server that I want protected. In my case, it is just going to be the, my demo server right here. So I'm going to copy that IP address and just paste it in just like so. And then you can add multiple in here as well, as I mentioned. But we're going to be saving that set. So now we have our survival server. Here is the IP address, and that looks great. Next, we want to come up to our domains. So in here, this is where you're going to be using your specific DNS records. So I have my domain right here, solnodes.tk. This is a free domain, and you want to put it in Cloudflare or use your whatever DNS that you have set up. So you need to make a new record, and this is going to be a CNAME record. So you can just type CNAME. It's right there. So for the name, this could be like MC or play or you can just leave it as the root if you just want this to be your connection to your Minecraft server. In my case, I'm just going to do mc, so they would connect with mc.solnodes.tk, and that would go to my server. So I'm going to leave the name as that. Now for the target, we need to come right here, and we need to copy this right here. So this is what we're going to be pasting into the CNAME record. So this NECAST record basically uh, connects them to the closest proxy server that TCP Shield has. And they have three of them. There's one in Germany, one in France, and then one in Quebec, Canada. Uh, so those are the three proxy servers that they have. So I'm going to head and copy this, and then you want to go back and place this in the target of your CNAME record, and make sure that this is set to DNS only. You don't want Cloudflare to be proxy because we're using TCP Shield for the proxy. So make sure you save that, and so in the future we're going to be connecting using mc.solnodes.tk. So once we have that set up, that looks good. Now we can go ahead and download the plugin. As I mentioned, I'm going to be running Paper Spigot, so I went ahead and download the latest version for Spigot, and you can just download it right here. You're going to be using the .jar. So go ahead and download that, keep that, and we'll go to my files into our plugins folder, and we'll just upload that real quick. This also does need protocol lib in order for this to work. Um, so I'm going to head and search that up right now. I will leave the link for protocol lib down in the description. Um, but I'm going to head and just quickly download it right now for video purposes. And we'll just head and download that. And we'll put it in our plugins folder again. 
So once we have completed those steps, we're pretty much ready to go. We can add our domain. So we're going to be adding our domain. So the main domain that we're going to be using is going to be the same one that we made right here. So make sure whatever you put in Cloudflare or your DNS settings, make sure it matches what you're trying to put in right here. So in my case, this is going to be mc.soulnodes.tk. So essentially, I'm just going to copy that. So we'll do mc.soulnodes.tk. So make sure all of that is valid. And let's go ahead and make the recheck domain. So make sure, hey, that is verified. So that is looking good. Now we need to specify which server this is going to be designed for, which is my survival, which we added. So we can go ahead and add that. And there we go. So you can actually add up to three domains, I believe, for the free plan. So if you want to have more, you can do that in here as well, which is pretty nice. Now we can go ahead and try my domain and keep in mind that it might take up to, you know, an hour to register. Typically it's only like 15 minutes. Uh, it could be sooner or later than that. And look at that. There we go. Now we have our server. Let's go ahead and join it. And we are now connecting through the TCP shield proxy, which is really cool, guys. That is awesome. So let me switch over to my other screen real quick. Then overall, we can come down here to the network statistics, and you can see, hey, this is how many connections that you have per second, so you can check, hey, I might be getting attacked or something, and then TCP Shield will mitigate those attacks, which is really cool. So, uh, really great stuff right here. It is all free to use, which is absolutely awesome, and it gives your server even more of a DDoS protection layer, which is pretty great. So, this links will be all down in the description, and you can also join their support Discord as well. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.